Hi, welcome to the Retirement Railroad Matinee Modeling Tip of the Day. I'm Steve, and today I want to look at uh, uh, some barbed wire fencing. Okay, I've looked at in the past some safety fencing and chain link fencing, uh, etc. And, and uh, for my farm scene here, excuse me, I had to uh, uh, needed some barbed wire wire fence, right? and it's really easy to do. Uh, you get some of this uh, 0.32, uh, 0.33, 0 0.032 piano wire, 0.032, all right? And you simply cut it up into uh, some scale, HO scale in my case, uh, lengths, and then I paint the top half uh, green with the uh, little bit unpainted that goes down into the ground. And I simply take these, put a little super glue gel on the bottom, put them where I want them, and gently tap with a small hammer through the uh, uh, sculpt the mold. And uh, the, it sets up. The next thing you do is take some jewelry wire. Uh, don't ask me how thick this is, because as you can see, the label's gone. But it's thin, uh, very thin jewelry wire, and you just loop it around. All right, go to the next post, loop it around, and do that all along your fence line. After the posts have set, okay, that gives them a little bit of firmness to be able to tighten up the wire some. All right, don't over tighten because it'll make them flip over. All right, and uh, uh, this is a, a double line fence. You can do three line if you want totally up to you. If it's too shiny, you can dull it down with a little like gray uh, wash uh, or even a matte finish uh, type situation uh, and to dull it down just enough, whatever your liking is. Uh, and in my farm pasture scene, you can see I've got a lot of roll fence line here and then again up uh, near the railroad tracks on the top side. So, stay tuned and we'll take a closer look at it. And here you go, you get, get a closer up look at it. And what I've done after I've looped it around and straightened it out, got the spacing the way I want it, I take a little dab of super glue uh, where the wire wraps around the uh, fence. You could even take a thin super glue and dab some at the top of the post and let it run down uh, the hit both wires. Right. As you can see, it gives a uh, reasonable effect. Again, I'm not a prototypical model, modeler. I'm a proto-representative model. model. Right. And, uh, I'm happy with the results. And, hey, as they say, it's my railroad. <laughs> uh, uh, again, I want to thank you for joining me here on the Retirement Railroad matinee modeling tip of the day. And I want you all to have a good day. Bye now.